So this is a walking tour of the damage from the storm overnight. It's really hard for a camera to fully show the show the damage. There are some leaves on the roof, but it doesn't look like a single shingle was turned, which is amazing when we get down to what I'm about to show you. But there's a lot of these branches down everywhere, these little tips of branches all over the place. Ironically, we had just spent the past week uh, lawn mowing and trimming and doing everything else to make the yard just perfect. And this is the reward we got, which is it's not quite perfect. And this is the area, walking down the driveway area here. We were not here when the storm hit, fortunately. Uh, here you see some fairly big branches down over here. We've already thrown some into our branch ravine, but this is one of the first big pieces you can see. A branch that went right through this fence, snapped a number of the boards. I'll try not to trip here. This big opening here is new because we had a large tree that basically self-destructed, came down and took out another tree. That's Brunswick Road down there. And I don't know if you can see the root ball down there from another tree. So from here, it just basically looks like a whole mass of leaves. You can see the section of discolored fence over there. That was replaced in 2021 when somebody crashed through that. So now I'm gonna go back out and around down the driveway so you can see a little more. Now I have a handy extra gate because there's no fence there. Last night when we got home, the entrance to the driveway was completely blocked as was Brunswick Road by all these trees that had come down. And fortunately, there are some great guys at a construction site across the street who showed up with a backhoe and a mini dozer and chainsaws and took it upon themselves to clear the road. You can really see the size of the tree that came down here, the gap in the fencing that was crushed, and then this. And these were all sawed off. They extended all the way across the road. You can see debris across the road and then debris here. They were just great to scoop it and get it clear. So that all has to be cleared over there as well. But the size of this tree is just immense. This is, there's a fence over this whole area that is gone and crushed underneath it, including a metal cattle gate uh, that controls access to the field. And this is really unusually how that snapped. I'll walk back up the hill here and I'll come around to the side yard. We're fortunate in that we have our own area where we toss leaves and sticks and debris so we don't have to pile it up at the curb although we're going to have our tree service take a look at some of this and take away a lot of it so that we don't have to sneaking up on the side of the house here and that's a whole new branch that fell right there quite large and you can see all these pool tubes we had them hanging on these wires when we opened the pool so that we could clean them good and store them and they got blown everywhere there's another branch down over there a lot of branches and circling back around you can see the number of other branches everywhere
body has got stuff all over it. Tools turned a nice shade of green thanks to all the down branches. So that's pretty much it. You've seen it all.